Welcome. Today I will talk about regards, specifically the various damage calculations tied to them. Every regard has a base damage. The vast majority have it at 55, but there are some exceptions. Giz's second regard, Daily Rave, deals 67 damage. And Lucky Chloe's does between 50 and 65, depending on whether you time your button presses properly or not. Despite regards being shown as multiple hits, they somewhat only count as one. The damage scaling calculations are applied to the rage art as a whole instead of each individual hit, allowing the scaling to never lower between the first and last hit, and allowing rage art with a different amount of hit to always deal the same damage. But when a rage art is done as a counter hit, the damage bonus it gets is very small. For example here, it dealt 57 damage instead of 55, even though the counter hit bonus will increase the damage by 20%, which will normally add a lot more. This is because Rage Arts deal damage in chunks, and some modifiers apply only on specific chunks. The first chunk is the first hit. It is always a single hit, and it has a base damage of 10. The counter hit bonus can only apply to this chunk, which is why counter hits don't add a lot of damage to Rage Arts. The second chunk is the rest of the damage, which does not benefit from the counter hit bonus. The combo scaling applies to each chunk individually, after the possible damage bonus they can get. Most Rage Arts follow this two chunk layout, regardless of how many hits they do, but as always, there are exceptions. Paul's Rage Art, if cancelled, will only keep the first chunk and do only one hit. As a trade-off, its base damage increases to 20 instead of 10. This second Rage Art, Daily Rave, is where it starts to differ a lot. First off, its base damage is 67 instead of the regular 55, and instead of having two chunks, it has a 10 chunk layout. The first chunk is a 10 damage chunk that can get affected by counter hits. The next 8 chunks deal 4 damage each, and the rage art can be stopped at any time by not doing one of these 8 hits. The last chunk is a 20 damage chunk, which does not get affected by scaling. No matter how long the combo, the last hit always hit at a full 100% scaling. It even completely ignores the wall splat and floor break reduction. But this isn't the only one with an unscaled chunk. Akuma also has an unscaled chunk, but it does 10 damage. Furthermore, Akuma's first chunk doesn't get affected by counter hits, as Akuma starts his rage art by grabbing his opponent instead of hitting him. Lucky Chloe is the only one with a 3 chunks rage art layout. The first chunk does 10 damage and can get affected by counter hits. The second chunk does 30 damage. And the last chunk is a 100% scaling chunk, which, depending on how well she does her rage art, can do 10, 20, or 25 damage. Now that we've covered how the damage is split in Rage Arts, there's still one thing left to talk about. How does the damage bonus Rage Arts get from having lower health apply? First off, let's understand when that bonus applies. Rage is entered upon dropping to 44 health points, which is 25% of a health bar. From this point, each percentage of health that is lost adds 2 percentage of damage to the Rage Art. So at 25% health, the Rage Art gets a 0% damage bonus. At 12.5%, it gets a 25% bonus, and at 1% health, or 1 HP, it gets a 50% bonus. That bonus applies to each damage chunk individually, before the counter hit bonus or scaling multiplier can apply. For example, at 12% health, Akuma's Rage Art deals a chunk of 56 damage, followed by an unscaled chunk of 12 damage. At 1% health, Paul's first and only hit of his Rage Art deals 30 damage. And still at 1% health, this last hit of Deadly Rave deals 37 damage unscaled. Well, that's all there is to it. Now you know how a Rage Art damage is calculated. Thanks for watching, and see you next time! Give in to your fears.